It has been far, far too long since we've talked about Cole Caulfield. Yeah, the Montreal Canadiens 15th overall 5'7 draft pick from the 2019 NHL entry draft, the guy that pretty much the entire fan base universally accepted upon drafting, probably one of the more underrated players in the past like 20 years of NHL draft history, and that's not hyperbole. Caulfield is the best US NTDP goal scorer ever, and he was taken 15th overall because he is small. Let's talk about him again, because it's been a while, and I called this video clawing his way back up, because there are a ton of different situations where that little phrase, clawing his way up, can apply. First off, we're talking about the NCAA and his season with the Wisconsin Badgers. Second off, we're talking about Team USA. And third off, we're talking about the Habs in general. So, let's start off with what Cole Caulfield has been up to with the University of Wisconsin Badgers in the NCAA. Well, let's just face it right now, the Badgers haven't been doing all too hot lately. They haven't been winning games, they haven't necessarily been producing the best record out there. Right now, they're 7, 10, and 1, so they do have a negative record. This is a team that a lot of people were projecting to be one of the top teams because of their additions of forwards and their freshmen, pretty much. They have Caulfield, who they added, obviously. They have Alex Turcotte, who they added because he came over too. And they have 2020 NHL Draft eligible Dylan Holloway, a player who a lot of people are saying could be a top 10 talent in this year's draft. And along with other guys like Lafreniere, Byfield, Raymond, Holtz, Stutzel, Drysdale, Askarov, Perfetti, Lundell, Gunler, there are a ton of names who are amazing in this year's draft. And Holloway is putting himself up there. So a lot of people were projecting the Wisconsin Badgers to be great because of this and their additions as a whole, but they haven't necessarily been getting the results they have wanted. Now recently, the most recent weekend, the Wisconsin Badgers dropped two games against Michigan State University. On December 6th, they got shut out 0-3. And then on December 7, on Saturday, they lost 5-4 in overtime. Now, the 5-4 loss was indeed a scoring fest, and this is where Caulfield kind of came alive a little bit. He scored himself two goals in this one, and they were really, really nice goals. The first one comes in on a little semi-breakaway, where he comes in, fakes going over to the backhand, and then just shoots it in 5 hole. He beats the goalie clean right through there. And then the second goal of the game that he's able to get is a really, really nice play by Jack Gorniak, who is a fellow Montreal Canadiens prospect. He tries to go behind the net. He fakes going all the way around, but then right before he passes out in front the other way, he throws it on the short side right into the slot. Caulfield is there. He one-times it. A beautiful play. The offensive IQ is definitely, definitely showing itself off in these Wisconsin Badgers games, and it's actually kind of noteworthy because Caulfield hasn't been scoring all too much in the most recent games, and that's not a fault of him, per se. It's just a matter of shot selection. He's been hitting so many posts over the past few weekends that the amount of goals that he's not scoring is getting ridiculous. The guy could honestly be first in the nation already in goals if he just hit a few more in the net rather than going off the post. It's some really tough puck luck that Cole Caulfield has been exhibiting right now, but right now, if you take everything and you add it all up, Cole Caulfield is sitting over there with a pretty good goal total. Caulfield has 12 goals in 18 NCAA games played. He's at 20 points, so he is still over a point per game. If you take a look at the NCAA in its entirety, Cole Caulfield is over there. He is tied for 13th in scoring. And then in terms of goals in the NCAA, Cole Caulfield is over there tied for third. In fact, it's like a five-way tie for third in the NCAA in goals, so it really showcases just how tight NCAA goal scoring really is. But Cole Caulfield has still found a way to prove himself as one of the best of the best in the league, despite all of these setbacks. The guy's small, the guy's too young, the guy's hitting all these posts. Cole Caulfield, after starting out really hot, 
fell back a little bit, but now he's clawing his way back up. And that started with two goals here against Michigan State. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the other aspects of where Cole Caulfield is clawing his way back up to the World Juniors. Because the World Juniors preliminary roster for the USA hockey team has just been released and Caulfield is on it, along with fellow Canadians prospect Jordan Harris. So Northeastern guy, Wisconsin Badgers guy come together, preliminary roster over here. It's a really stacked lineup. Oh my goodness, this USA team looks stacked and they still didn't pick Matthew Boldy. Now, if you didn't recognize, Matthew Boldy has been struggling quite a bit for Boston College this season, and as a result, he wasn't selected for Team USA, but Jordan Harris has been good, Cole Caulfield has been really, really good, so he's there as well. So just taking a look at this roster and seeing who the guys are that he's going to be playing with, you reunited most of the US NTTP from last year, aside Jack Hughes, aside Vlasic. You don't have those guys, but you do have some of your other really big pieces. Zegras is there, Turcott is there, Caulfield is there, Cam York is there, Spencer Knight is there. Then you have all the other really, really good talent in the OHL too. Nick Robertson is there. Arthur Kaliev is there. That's crazy. Kaliev is like arguably the best goal scorer in the CHL today, and he's there as well. Nuts. Absolute nuts that team is. And that team can be so dangerous. Everybody is like calling it on Twitter. Caulfield's going to score like 12 goals in the tournament because that's just what he does. The international tournament is where Cole Caulfield comes out to play and where he shines. He doesn't need a Jack Hughes to be really great. He's proven that with the Wisconsin Badgers this year. So now Caulfield is going to be given the international stage to dazzle, perform, and score a heck of a lot of goals once more. And I'm really excited for it. There's no way he doesn't make this team. Seriously, unless they have a huge strong bias against draft plus one 18 year old players, which they don't because Tyler Madden was on the team last year and he was really gosh darn good, even though he is a late 99 birthday. I do get it. But Team USA, if they want to give themselves the best chances to win, they're keeping Turcott, they're keeping Caulfield, they're keeping Spencer Knight. Dustin Wolf is also on this preliminary roster too, which is awesome because the guy is getting the spotlight that he deserves. Really, really good goaltender out of the WHL, Everett Silvertips player. He was taken in like the seventh round of the NHL draft because he's a little bit small too. So hopefully guys like Caulfield, hopefully guys like Wolf can come in and totally steal that spotlight away from the, oh, they're really small narrative. So I'd be really looking forward to that, and I'm pretty sure you are too, Wolfgang. But let's actually go over one more little tiny thing that I purposely saved to the very end of this video because I think it's a really interesting tweet. Now Habs Chronicle is a Twitter account that talks about NHL news, speculation, opinions. It's not really like a news source, but they just talk about the Habs. We follow each other on Twitter, it's pretty nice. They posted this tweet after Wisconsin lost the overtime game against Michigan State. They said, it doesn't seem to us like Wisconsin is destined for a playoff run this year. That could be interesting for the Habs if they're still in the playoff race. Cole Caulfield could be available early. And that is an angle that I didn't even explore once in thinking about this Cole Caulfield thing. The Badgers are 7, 10, and 1. This team is not looking to be the powerhouse team in the playoffs that they were projected to be. And if the Habs are still in the playoff race by the time April rolls around and the Wisconsin Badgers season comes to an end... Cole Caulfield could be suiting up for his first regular season NHL game sooner than later. And that, to me, is exciting. Imagine a Caulfield with a Suzuki and, I don't know, Tatar. Something like that. 
some crazy line combination. You can leave your comments down below as to who you think Caulfield could be playing with, but for now, that is the scoop. Caulfield is clawing his way back up on the NCAA goal scoring race. He's going to be clawing his way back up when given a platform for Team USA and he will shine. And he could potentially be clawing his way up onto the Habs sooner rather than later. Hope you enjoyed this video, Social Trolls 99. And bye.